making uh, two bird feeders for for a client, and uh, this is what I got right now with the roof here and stuff. I'm working on my second one here, and just yesterday I put the here I put the uh, underlayment on for the roof here. But the reason why I'm doing this here video is because I like how this is coming out. <laughs> I really like how this is really coming out here, and I want to take a little bit of a document, just document a little bit here, how I'm getting these here uh, cuts to fit in here like this here, because I never expected that they turn out this this nice. I mean, it's, it's, it's waving down this way, and it's good. okay. I want to show how I do this now, as far as um, getting the measurements and everything. When I first started out, I would kind of like just sloppily was throwing this in here and trying to get everything to fit. But then I come down to a, but to cut to the second one here. I got pretty good at procedures, and by the time I get to the third one, I have it down to a science down. That's what I like. So now what I'm going to do is show a little documentary here of how I uh, fit these in here now. First thing I do is I establish my center marks. Center mark up here. Now I'm working behind the camera here, so it's getting a little bit... Okay, so now in the bottom down here, get the center. Once I get the center lines, I then put my center line down. Okay, my reference. thing I do is I take my shims here, these are bigger contractor shims, and I try to f find where it matches the other side here a little bit, and then I make a mark down here. Oh, and I cut it. Excuse me. Just cut a square. And the first thing I do is I have my uh, measurements here. How uh, far I'm going to bring this out. So I'll get this here roughed in this way. And up on top here, I uh, mark off where it's going to come across here a little bit. And then through here. And I take it back over my saw and I cut that off. Okay, from that point there, now I have some room to work here. Now what I do is I get a good measurement here where I want to keep it at now. And that would be about right there. Nice and tight there. And then I use my reference mark. I have my reference mark right here and my reference mark up here. And then I draw the line down through there and cut that off first. Here's the two reference marks. And again, back to my saw. I give it a quick check here. Make sure I'm line up where I want to. And what I do now is I take my second shim now and I find out where this one here lines up with that one again. So it takes the bottom of that one. And I'll just line that up in that direction there like that. And again, I'll cut this off just to get it to fit in there. Just these are all rough cuts right now. All this here is all rough cutting just to get the fit in preliminary. I have the one side done and I'll do the same thing on the other side now. Okay, uh, a little reference here. Right. Right. And I put them aside. And I'll do the same thing on the other side now. I got roughed in up here. And again, I go for my center line here. And up here. And I bring that in there now. This is, this is just all, again, these are all just rough lines right now because all this is going to be cut out also. I'm just getting this just to fit in there right now. So I'll just take that off there now. However, I wanted that. I'm double checking, make sure I got my distance here, which I do. I check my line here. I'm looking good there. So now I'm ready to nail this here on and nail the other side on, and then I'll start working on the second one. Okay, so a little outside exterior glue. Check here. There. I'll nail it on. And again, 
can do the same thing on your side. And that we cut before and line that back up we wanted here. And now I take it to my center line down here again, where it match where it hits that center line, and then up here where it's touching here. And again, just connect the dots, the lines. Okay, and cut my saw. Okay, check real quick here, and then I'll sweeten up my sander here a little bit. Up the line. That in there now like that. And I got that established there. Now I'll do the other side the same way. This point here now where I'm all roughed in now. Everything's roughed in because now I can't do anything with that yet because I gotta go to the next piece here, the last piece, and that will go in between. And so what I do is I set that up in there like that. Where it lines up. So I'm gonna make sure I'm here, here I want to be. I make a mark on this one, and I transcribe a mark on that one. And then I cut those to fit those in. Here, <laughs> the camera shot. Yeah, I'm gonna cut on the one side here. I'm not going to cut the other one yet. I want to double check, to make sure. So what I do is, whoop, what I'll do now is I will. Uh, Glue this in place. I wanted that. And then nail that one in place. And I also got that established there. Now, I'm going to go to put this one here in. I want to double check to make sure that if I use this piece here, make sure I get it in the camera view here, alright. So I s can double check that. I want to keep that a little bit wider now. It's a little bit wider now. And it looks like that shim should be the one to use right here. So I'll go ahead and cut this one now. Here. I'll set that in there like that. And then I'll just start working back and forth with this one here. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and glue this one in and nail it. I go a whole lot slower whenever I'm not trying to do a camera shot, so I can really take my time. But right now, I'm just kind of like trying to keep everybody's attention here a little bit without getting bored here. All right, and then lastly, I'll fit this in here now. Find out where it fits pretty good here, about right there. So it'll come down about there like that. So now I can. That will be where I'm going to cut across, so that might be here. Okay, we got here. There you go. Okay, so now i got this all fit this in like this. Now where I want it to be now. And then I see where I'm... Oh, excuse me, but then I see where I'm touching here and here, in that area there, and up to about here. Again, this is going to be roughed in. So what I'll do now is I'll just cut, a, cut this way here, just to rough that in. In. I wanted that, and I'll glue and nail that in place now. Now these are contractor shims. So that's the first layer. Now I'm ready to put the I'll start putting the top layer on now. Show how that's done. You know I created equal. I have to just take down a little bit here and there. Just get it all uh, where we need to be uh, just trying to smooth everything out here a little bit. Okay. So that we have kind of like an even transition. 
it comes time to put the next ones on. And of course I will just uh, play around with this here and, and smooth that in and make that look nice. That's going to be showing. But just the area here where I'm trying to uh, get it to match in here so I have some little bit of uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get the next layer on now. Is I come up four inches. This is my reference off the center one here. Alright, that's my reference there. And I try to match up the size. That's pretty close to the same right there. Bring my reference, bring my middle one here now into that line. And again, just do a little bit of uh, roughing in again. Now, this roughing in here is actually going to be showing, so I want to get a little bit closer if I can. This here roughed in where I want it at, like that. I can now uh, start working on the two side pieces. Again, I'll match in as close as I can. So now what I'll do is I'll start here where my line is at right there and I will get this to line up with the, the rafter there a little bit. Get this on my line here and if I can do this without it being camera. Now I'll just rough this on the top here just to get it out of here and here just to get out because that's going to be cut. It's going to be trimmed off. I have this. Get you up here more. There you go. Now that I have this where I want it at to my line here on my rafter side there good I'll take my original piece here now and I'll line him up now what I want to do is I line it up to the corner here and get it lined back up there get my pencil now hmm. there we go. There it is. All right. get everything lined up here and like I said I go a whole lot slower whenever I'm not doing videos I right, line up here and then I just mark it and I cut it and do the same thing for the other side too. Piece here to my mark here again down here on my rafter. I'll just double check now with this piece here. If I may <coughs> bring it down to there. I'm satisfied with that. So I'm very satisfied with this. So I'll go ahead and glue that and uh, put that on permanent now. And with the other side again, I put this to my line where I wanted at. Bring this into where it's going to go, line everything up again, and mark it. Just as before. Now mark it. Put everything together now. Again, glue the center one. Get glue on both edges here. same thing with this one. That's my procedure. Now what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll sand this down and I'll smooth everything out where it needs to be to blend everything in. But it's also got to be rustic too because it is an outside bird feeder. But anyway, I just want to show you the techniques of see how that there it folds in this way here because of just by the inherency of it. <laughs> because you're, when you go down in that direction, everything eh, works out pretty good that way. So anyway, that's the uh, just wanted to document a little bit of how that the uh, procedure of how I was able to come up with that there to do that. I'm happy with how that came out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.